Hey guys, it's Powered Up Mike, and welcome to a new episode of We Play. Today we are doing billiards. Now, billiards I was never skilled at growing up, but over the years I have gotten better. The controls are pretty motion reliant. Yeah, you use the B button with when you have that with the red dot. You use the B button to place where you want your Q stick to hit, I believe. And if you're skilled enough, you ha you can sink more than one ball in during a shot. Unlike regular pool, where I believe it's uh, stripes and solids, you have to sink the balls in in numbered order. The, the more, the, the less, you once you sink in all the balls, I believe one to eight, the more points you earn. Now you can use the D-pad to control where you want your ball to go. So you can angle, do angle shots, which can be helpful at times, like right there, which I think worked out pretty convenient. Now growing up, I was never able to get a platinum medal on this game. Oh, and here we get a foul shot. Sometimes the required ball will be blocked. And even though we got that ball sunken in, the game considers it a foul. But when you get a foul, you can place your ball anywhere you want. I, the ideal spot is near the required ball, as noted by that red marker. Now, like when I said I never got a platinum medal, I got close, but never really achieved it. I consider it one of the hardest mini games if you don't know how it works, but like all the other mini games, it does take practice. And the eight ball is usually the last ball you sink in, unless you sink it in with the break at the beginning. And if your ball's further away, you gotta make sure you give your weird mode an oomph when you shoot the ball in. Because sometimes it is possible where your ball will barely move if you don't hit it hard enough. And we finished sinking all the balls. 51 points, which is not that bad, pretty good. And the game does consider it a gold medal. So we got another gold medal. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next part and bye bye